In this next problem, we are asked to simplify this expression. Now recall that we can only add or subtract radical expressions if they share the same radicand. So what we'll do is to look for the factors of the radicand and see what we can combine. We will retain square root of 3. We will write 48 as the product of two factors, the one being a perfect square, because this is square root. And 48 can be written as 16 times 3, 16 being a perfect square or 4 squared. We will do the same with square root of 12. And square root of 12 can be written as 2 squared or 4 times 3 square root. Next, we apply the law of radicals. We have square root of 3 here. The square root of 4 squared is 4. And we'll be left with the square root of the other factor or the square root of 3. Plus 2 can be brought out. So we have 2 times the square root of the remaining factor, which is 3. As you can clearly see here, these three radicals are the same, sharing the same radicand 3. So we can use the distributive uh, action and combine the square root of 3 terms. So you have 1 minus 4, that's negative 3, plus 2, that's negative 1, times square root of 3, or negative square root of 3. So this is the answer when you simplify square root of 3 minus square root of 48 plus square root of 12.